Dear ones, I am happy to be with you here today. As you may know, there are a great many murders of transvestites and of transgender women. The popular view is one of shock and finger pointing. That view I feel to be in line with public sentiment against gender preference bullying. In other words, it seems to me that popular sentiment has finally turned to a liberal approach towards gender preference, and that by extension, people have a liberal point of view towards cross-dressing. And then there is my intuition that, in some cases, transvestites carry a burden of hidden rage, that might, in a moment in which I am unwary, leap out and strike me. To be blunt, in some instances when I am in the presence of a transvestite, I fear for my life. In that context, because I have learned to trust my intuition so as to avoid danger here in Los Angeles, it feels to me that popular sentiment is the maudlin expression of the innocence of lambs before the slaughter. Amongst transvestites I sometimes sense great cunning, and intend to slay. Then there are transvestites who are like those on television, well-meaning people who prefer a gender not expressed at birth. Why the variance? Could it be there are those masquerading as transvestites as a disguise for serial killing for instance? If that were so, then surely I would feel threatened when in their physical presence. Yet in the presence of other transvestites I feel at ease. How to reconcile these, the concern of our society for needless slaughter of transvestites, and this intuition that I have regarding hidden rage in some cases. I went to law enforcement on this. Law enforcement opined that the folks from whom I was fleeing would prey upon each other, and in that way eliminate the threat to me without the law having to involve itself with my protection. A transvestite attended my church on Palm Sunday, that would be yesterday, and the person sat in the pew in front of me. I had a concern for my physical safety. So I left very quickly after the service. And that set me to thinking. Last night, in the wee small hours, it occurred to me that the murders of transvestites reported online might to some extent have to do with competition within their ranks. Could it be that there are cunning murderers posing as transvestites who are turning on and murdering each other, as law enforcement had suggested? Yet if this were so, and if that subset were to be very cunning, how might they succeed in murdering each other if they have not quite a bit of practice murdering lambs, innocent people like me and you? There are, after all, in this physical world, both lambs like us and wolves in sheep's clothing, are there not? In which case, we ought to do our best to guard our perimeters and to live a safe and happy life. God bless you all and keep you safe. And be with you through all your days. In love, light and joy. Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. Thank you.